Mexican printmaker José Guadalupe Posada's influence is still seen 100 years later The nostalgic smell of pan dulce, or sweet bread, hit me when I walked into Diana's Bakery on Cherokee Street in St. Louis, it was impossible not to think of my grandmother taking me to a similar Bonadaria bakery, and letting me and my sisters pick out a pan dulce, while she bought her favorite rolls. The shelves at Diana's are always filled with cookies and breads, decorated in muted pastel colors. But around Dia de los Muertos, they bring out the skull-shaped cookies, or calaveras, decorated with flower designs and bright neon colors. They're the kind of cookies that scream live, though clearly depicting death. It's the paradox of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, celebrated on November 1st and 2nd throughout Latin America. While it's a day to remember and honor those who have passed on, it's also a day to remember to live life to the fullest because that's what our loved ones would want us to do. Dia de los Muertos celebrates the lives of the deceased with food, drink, parties and activities the dead enjoyed in life. Families often make ofrendas, or altars, in their homes with photos of their loved ones, candles, flowers, pan dulce and other favorite foods. The most iconic symbol of Day of the Dead is the intricately designed skull. That image of the calavera born out of the work of José Guadalupe Posada, who was creating these illustrations during a tumultuous time. Diana's Bakery in St. Louis displays a cookie shaped as a calavera, or skull, one of the most iconic symbols of Dia de los Muertos. Photo by Rebecca Rivas slash Missouri Independent. In 1910, the Mexican Revolution had just begun, and the working class was rising up against the feudal-like system. Posada was a humble printmaker who made humorous political illustrations using skeletons as a way to say that we are all going to die no matter what class we come from or what color our skin is. Posada was known to say that death is democratic because it's the great equalizer. His prints were particularly popular around Dia de los Muertos.